We have another one, folks, a couple known as the Alabama Pickers. I had no idea who these people were. A couple known as the Alabama Pickers, a reality show couple known for YouTube videos where they resell tchotchkes, as I like to call them. They have both died of covid. This is incredible. And of course, now they leave children behind with no parents. Um, Alabama Pickers, as reported by AL.com, couple known for reselling and known for vaccine opposition, both dead of covid. A married Alabama couple known for their reselling videos on YouTube. I guess what this means is you go to these um, self storage units and you buy stuff that's unclaimed and then you resell it. Like, I guess that's what I, what they do. Um, they have both died of covid. They are known on YouTube as the Alabama pickers. Dusty and Tristan Graham lived in Huntsville, where they would often post videos about tips and tricks to reselling vintage items like clothes and home decor on eBay under the username Bama 4348. Dusty died Thursday, almost three weeks after his wife did, according to the GoFundMe page set up by one of their children. One of the most tragic lines in news articles that exists is according to the GoFundMe page set up by one of their children. It's tragic generally, and it's extra tragic because of what it says about the American healthcare system as well. Uh, the article goes on to say this is what Windsor Graham wrote. Um, Unfortunately, Dusty and Tristan have both passed away. Thank you all for your kind words and helping us during this difficult time. We will be using the money to pay for funeral expenses. One of the last videos the married couple posted on their now deleted YouTube channel was about how they wouldn't get the vaccine. It was later reposted to Vax Man's channel, which is connected to a website titled sorry anti dedicated to sharing stories of people who have gotten covid and died or came close to dying after sharing anti vax beliefs. Dusty says in the video at the forty one thirty mark, quote, I've got my own passport. It's called the Bill of Rights. I think this will be all behind us in a couple years. Dusty later spelled out the word vaccine and said it was actually a form of immunity therapy they were giving people. The pair then talked about everything they had survived already including bone cancer in Tristan's case. They talked about covid and the vaccine at length on their channel. Tristan died on August 25th in her sleep. Two days later, Dusty started a GoFundMe for her while he was still in the ICU. Anything you can find in your heart will be so appreciated. Dusty wrote a week ago, their daughter Windsor wrote in a now deleted Facebook post. Dusty was moving to a ventilator and to continue praying. The GoFundMe goal is currently thirty five thousand and just over twenty thousand has been raised for the couple. Um, let's get an update on that. GoFundMe. Uh, yeah, twenty five, twenty five thousand. This is horrifying, guys. I, I, I don't like this. You know, it's another kid now. Both parents, both parents. And they were they were relatively young. Um, also, you know, on the crowdfunding, the GoFundMe stuff for medical bills and funeral expenses. There's something odd about how crowdfunding for medical bills is fine. But socialized health care that prevents the need for that is bad to these people. And I think a lot of it is they, you know, they say we should do things through charity rather than government mandate. And so they may actually defend. They would say, no, it actually makes sense. We don't want the government saying health care for everyone. But then if people out of the kindness of their hearts want to give us money for medical bills or the funeral, then then that would be fine. Um, I have a couple of friends who have a business that relates to peanut farming and uh, it has nothing to do with Jimmy Carter, but it does relate to peanut farming. They've been spending a lot of time in Alabama, where the Alabama pickers are, are were from, uh, as well as Georgia. And they told me last week um, that it's like there's no pandemic there. It's, it's just like there's no pandemic taking place there at all. And uh, they when they go inside to offices and stuff at these peanut farms where they're doing certain type of consulting for, uh, they're the only ones wearing masks. And not only is nobody wearing a mask, some of these states have only 40, 42, 44 percent vaccination. So it's really bad down there. Really, really bad. And here are more orphans, uh, more orphans as a result. Statistically speaking of anti vaxxerism, we can't say for sure that these parents would be alive had they been vaccinated. But statistically speaking, 
almost certainly at least one of them would be had they both been vaccinated, unless there's something very specific that we just don't know. 